Well, what's going on, America? This old Jim Bub. Jim Bub's commentary channel coming at you. We worldwide, all over the world, carried on uh, YouTube. You can get us anytime. We've got daily reports on just about everything. And if we ain't covered everything by now, we'll get to it uh, sooner or later. Well, today, I want to commentary a little bit about unnecessary laws. We've got too many laws in America. Uh, I think they pass something like four or five thousand laws every every year. Uh, of course that Congress up there in the last eight years they ain't passed shit They're worth a damn. But anyways uh, that's what I read somewhere. And uh, so they got a lot of unnecessary laws. I start with one of my favorite ones is the motorcycle helmet laws. They got them all over the place, and uh, I don't like them. And the seatbelt laws, uh, I wear my seatbelt, but I don't like having a law to tell me to do it. Uh, I wear it because I want to. I think that's the way it ought to be. And uh, so they got a uh, law in Georgia that uh, you can't eat uh, fried chicken with nothing but your hands. If you eat it with a fork, you get arrested and you go to jail for it. And I'm not telling no lie, that's the law. And uh, so they got a lot of crazy laws out there. Uh, they're still on the books. And uh, in Georgia, that's all right with me. I, I eat my chicken with my hands anyways. But I don't like no law telling me I got to if I want to uh, pull out my bowie knife and chop it up a little bit. And then gum it, I ought to be able to do that. But no, in Georgia you got to you got to eat it with your hands. So that's a law, and uh, we got to do something about all these extra laws, because uh, uh, in Tennessee, uh, all you uh, people out there in Tennessee, you can't do no oral sex. That's against the law there still. So um, if you want to do the oral sex, you got to get out of Tennessee and go over the state line and do it. Uh, and I'm not saying do it one way or the other, I'm just saying that's what the law is, and I don't want you to get arrested for it, uh, see, and, uh, they got a bunch of stupid laws, and they pass them all the time, uh, a lot of them, uh, they give them real kids' names, now, uh, I'm gonna probably offend somebody now, and I, I'm not uh, meaning to do that, but uh, some child gets hurt some way or another and uh, right away a politician standing in line ready to uh, pass a law uh, this, uh, he thinks it's gonna, he don't really think it's gonna fix it, he don't care, he just wants his name on the news and they, uh, but some law that there's a loophole in there and he's gonna pass a law to change it and uh, you see there's a problem with laws and criminals if you got a guy out there that's a bad guy, and there's some of them out there, I mean, well, there's more than a fun of some of them, there's a lot of bad guys out there. And uh, he, he's uh, going to break the law, um, and uh, the Congress finds out about it and passes the law to make it against the law what he did, or to, I mean, or to you know, cover the loophole. Well, uh, I want to ask you a question. Uh, you think that criminal's uh, keeping up with the laws? I don't think so. He don't give a shit one way or the other. He's going to break the law if he wants to. So like guns. Or you can outlaw all the guns you want to. Uh, some damn fool will get a gun. And uh, and now he'd be a damn fool if he gets a gun and hurts somebody with it. On purpose. In, in old Jim Bob's opinion. But you can pass laws all day long. You ain't going to stop him from getting guns. So, um... Uh, I'm against them laws too. Now I ain't against the registration of them, and you want to uh, have my name on a piece of paper that says that I got a gun. I don't care. You can have my name, but I won't have my gun if I want it, and uh, and I don't have to have it if I don't want to. Uh, personally, I think the pepper spray is more effective uh, than the guns, anyhow, because uh, uh, the thing about the gun is, uh, say somebody's uh, coming at you, and you shoot at them and you miss them. Uh, on account of you ain't a good shot and you kill somebody else I think a pepper spray is better 
uh, it's easier to hit them in the eyeball with it or in the face with it and they get them better. They try it out. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, I guess people be uh, uh, firing off the emails to me now being offended on account of I said use the pepper spray over the gun. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Back into the laws. So, uh, some poor child gets hurt somehow or another and that congressman runs right out there and passes a law. And they don't never study to see how it's going to affect uh, uh, the innocent, uh, non-criminal part of America. And so sometimes it does. So it's like the fried chicken law. I mean, you know, uh, well, you going to put somebody in jail because they don't want to eat chicken with their hands? That ain't right. So, well, that's my, I've been studying on the laws, folks, and uh, it's like a, like I said, we got a whole bunch of laws and put a whole bunch of people in prison. We got more people in prison in, in the United States of America than any other country, and uh, I reckon that's because we got the laws to do it. So uh, I'm uh, for uh, getting some of them off the books and making things a little bit more simpler. What do you think about it? That's it for me. Jim Bob's out.